So, Vorsch platformed an actual pro-colonialism Zionist to attack me. That's right. He not only invited her onto his stream to allow her to vent about my criticisms of her for hours straight, but also accepted absolutely everything that she said uncritically. I've already responded to some of the lies that she told during that stream in another video, which you'll find linked in the description. And you can see pretty clearly there that she was never even remotely clip-chimped or taken out of context as she told Vorsch which he unfortunately accepted uncritically. And my video outlining this was out a full 12 hours before Vorsch's clip on this was uploaded. So yeah, pretty disappointing. Regardless, the personal grudges here are not even remotely what matters to me most. Israel-Palestine is simply the defining global geopolitical issue of our time. Israel is absolutely unambiguously a settler colonial state, which was built on land, stolen in living memory. Anyone who supports the existence of Israel, who believes that its settlers have a right to self-determination in this land which they invaded and split with no consent from the people who lived there beforehand, is fundamentally an enemy of the global left on the same level as, say, a white nationalist. And that is no exaggeration. And I think that Vorsch would actually agree with me on that if I put it to him in that way in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now, make no mistake, the person who he invited on to attack me is a Zionist. She supports absolutely everything that I just outlined. So that Vorsch was willing to invite a Zionist onto his stream, and this was not the first time, who fundamentally upholds one of the greatest injustices of the 20th century, and certainly the greatest ongoing injustice of our age, that's not just disappointing. That's negligence. Zionists have enough of a platform without being given a platform to present themselves positively on a huge channel that identifies as left. The only reason that you and I have to invite them onto our channels, regardless of our differences, because in this issue we at least are supposed to agree, is to attack them and embarrass them in the same way that we would a white nationalist. Because that's what they are. But it's worse than that. He invited this Zionist on to attack me. Apparently, his need to attack someone who he's got an internet beef with is more important than not running interference for an actual Zionist in front of his massive audience. It's simply disappointing. Again, this is the defining issue of our time, and people like this merit nothing less than complete deplatforming, at least in any remotely left space. Settler colonialism in the 21st century cannot be allowed to have a voice anywhere. So to Vorsch, I'll gladly come on your stream anytime and explain very clearly, with non-clip-chimped evidence, exactly how your Zionist friend here was lying to you. We're talking about someone who uses Nazi-esque Lebensraum rhetoric regarding the room and space that Israel has for its settlers here. It's not really that complicated, and I can prove that to you as well, don't worry. I'd also love to talk to you about just how fundamentally wrong it is that you would platform someone like this in such a non-confrontational way. You've had some trouble grasping settler colonialism recently, and Israel-Palestine is the perfect example that we could use to help you and your audience understand it a bit better. At the very least, if you're willing to invite an actual Zionist onto your stream to attack me, then I think it's only fair that you invite me, myself, directly. I'll be waiting.